Denzel, welcome to Crawley. Um, just you. looking at your CV, uh, the clubs that you've played for, uh, and then you've had one or two really difficult periods with a, a bad foot injury. Mm -hmm. I, I guess now you're looking for a period of um, sort of calmness in your career so you can mm -hmm. really show people what you can do, what mm -hmm. you're capable of. Mm -hmm. No, most definitely. Like, first of all, thank you for having me. I'm grateful for the opportunity. And yeah, like you said, like my career thus far has been like really rocky. Uh, I've had a lot of trials. Um, but now I'm just ready to work, ready to play first team football and showcase everyone what I can do at this level. And you're quite happy, I mean, it's, you know, compared to some of the players that you've played with mm -hmm. in your career, to come down to League Two, mm -hmm. I mean, that's quite a big decision to make for mm -hmm. you. I feel as though it's the best one at this moment in time. I feel as though, um, you know, I've been signed to these clubs, but I've never played for any of these clubs. So, all in all, it doesn't really mean much. It just means that I've had, you know, maybe good facilities or good training or good this or good that. But, you know, I want to play. Your career is based off of playing what you do on Saturdays, what you do on Tuesdays, what you do on Wednesdays, what you do on Sundays. And, you know, coming here to League Two and signing for Crowley is going to give me the opportunity to showcase what I can do on match days. This, uh, you were saying earlier you went into the first training session today and one of the first people you saw was Michael Lewin-Buller. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't expect to know anyone in the dressing room, but yeah, of course you exactly. must remember him from your daughter, exactly, his Dortmund exactly, days. Yeah. Exactly, I remember one time we trained with um, the under-19s, like a recovery group, and um, he was training because he was part of the under nineteen setup at Borussia Dortmund at the time. And I just remember thinking, like, who is this goalkeeper? Like, he was super talented, but I'd never heard anything about him. And after that training session, I was quite impressed with him. And, you know, I always relate to people that I think are quite talented, but aren't really getting what they deserve at the moment for whatever reason, whether it be injury, bad luck, politics, whatever it is. So after that training session and after speaking to him and, you know, getting to know him, like he's an amazing person that like, I really connected with him on a deeper level. And you uh, met the manager today as well? I did. And I what, did what are your thoughts? Manager. And you've trained with the boys for the first time? Yeah, no, you know, he has good ideas for the team. Um, he wants to win. He cares about the development of players individually. And, you know, he has ambition. And I'm always going to be able to relate and work well with a manager who has ambition. And, it, and he's, his template, I think, it very much is young players and giving young young players mm -hmm. an opportunity and building a young, uh, you know, talented, vibrant, mm -hmm. hard-working mm -hmm. squad. Yeah, the team is, is quite young, the squad is quite young um, and hungry. You know, you've got a lot of players that are on loan or have moved here from higher pedigree clubs and so on and so forth. So the team's really, <coughs> excuse me, the team's really young and hungry and eager to prove like what they can do at this level. A bit like yourself, I guess. Exactly. In terms of your fitness, I know you had a trial at Reading, so you have done some pre-season work, mm -hmm. um, but you fit, you're feeling good, feeling sharp? No, I feel quite good. I feel quite good. To be honest, that is something that obviously that I wasn't going to address, but now that you've brought it up, like, I wasn't actually on trial at Reading. Right. Like, I actually agreed a contract there, but um, it, it fell through um, for whatever reasons. But um, no, I had three weeks there, you know, getting my fitness levels up, and then... Um, Obviously, when that contract fell through, when that move didn't materialise, I then had to work on my own in the gym and whatnot. But um, the people closest to me will tell you, like, if I haven't been training at a club, then I've been in the gym every day because I'm a big believer in working for what you want. Obviously, I'm quite spiritual. I pray every morning, every night, but I'm somebody who actively wants to work towards achieving what it is that I want to achieve. So, you know, I've been working. And when you're at your best, what can the Crawley fans expect from you? Wins. And, Wins. and in terms of your own ability, what, what are your strengths, do you think? I feel as though I'm quite a powerful player. Um, I have the ability to drive with the ball very well. Um, I'm quite good with combination players. Um, I'm quite skillful in a sense where I might be able to display something that they might not see too often. Because um, growing up, my favourite player was Ronaldinho. And it was just because of those wow moments yeah. that you just don't see often. Those moments that take your breath away or, you know, you leave the game thinking, like, how did he do this? So I would like to try and replicate some of those moments to the Crawley supporters. And when you get a run of games under your belt, you, you, you're you going to be feel, I guess, because of the stop-start nature, perhaps, mm -hmm. in your career so mm -hmm. far, that you've settled and, 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 exactly. and, and get better and better. Exactly. No, that's what I want to do. Stay as fit as possible. Stay as healthy as possible. 
and um, like you said, get a run of games under my belt, hopefully from when I begin to play until the end of the season, hopefully achieve some great things with the club this season.